Hello friends and welcome up to this new video of our course Enabling Spring Security in a Spring Boot Web Application In this video we have reached to the final steps of resetting a user password In this step the user will set the new password and then hit the reset button to persist the new password in the database Now this steps, these two steps is seen in here with this piece of code the first thing is that we need to do is to get this reset token and we validate it again if it's saved in the DB or no once we confirm that this reset token is persisted then we start the process of changing the new password and then we persist it in the database and then we give a message to the user that the new password has been saved one thing to notice in here that we need to get the reset token param now in this case from where we will get the reset token param we will get it using this as I have told you before when we collect the token and we saved it in this class field we can call this class field in here and we use it to verify that this reset token is already saved in the database now the process to do all these steps is different than the previous course which is when we build an, a web application using Spring Boot and Timeleaf in this course we will create few interfaces and classes related to the reset password such as the DAO interface, the DAO class, the model, the reset model, and the repository of the reset, and the service, the two services. So let's start one by one. With the DAO, we need, obviously, we need two methods. One to verify, the, to find the reset token, and the other one is to persist the new password, which is what we have in here. This is the first step to find the reset token and the second step is to persist the new password so these are the two methods and the DIO implementation in this case we will get it from the repository so we need to auto wire a reset password repository we have to create it which is in here this interface of the reset password repository we extend the JPA repository and we use the model reset password model and we will use it the, as an optional class to find to see whether this reset token available or not in the database now as for the model that we will use the model has a few fields which is the ID it is linked to the table of the users this table the users table where all the data about any user is in this table we create uh, the field, the ID field, the password field, the email field and the reset token field these are the fields that we need with, the, with this module and of course we create the getters and setters for these fields and we link them to the uh, corresponding columns in, in the database so this is the entire process here with the DAO implementation we check that if this reset token available in the database using the repository the reset password repository and then we can use it in here if it is available this password this reset token then we get it and we assign it to the user of that reset token again remind you that every user every email has a reset token column and also has a password column related to the user so in this case we will get the reset token and then we assigned the new password to of that user we set the new password and 
we can uh, hash the ca password to for security and the password we will get it from the model from the reset password model they'll get get password which we will get it obviously from the password that the user will enter here once we have done this step the next step is that we need to now the reset token column we place a null instead of the reset token because obviously we have used this reset token so we need to null or make it a null and then we persist the password using the save method also with the repository the reset password repository we use the save method to save the new password and the service is almost the same we refer to the DAO so we can do all this process of finding the reset token and saving the new password once the reset once the new password have been persisted in the DB we just give the a user a message that the new password had been changed successfully and in this case either we remain with the same page or we can redirect the user to the index page this is the process of resetting the a new password for the any user okay so this is the entire process when a user want to reset his or her password now we have finished the first implementing the spring security and spring boot web application using the first way which is extending the web security configure adapter so all the previous uh, six uh, videos we were talking about the first way extending the web security configure adapter and implementing the two interfaces the user details and the user details service on the web application that we have created in the uh, previous course with the modifications that we have made in the new video now from the next video we will start implementing the spring security annotations and it's uh, basically we will talk about this thing that I have told you at the beginning to forget about now from next video we will talk about this and we will see what is the meaning and how we can implement this uh, annotation security spring annotation security in a web spring spring boot web application okay thank you very much